Hey guys, it's Hunter. Welcome back to another video. This isn't one of the big demos slash review videos or a 10 minute Ask a Fish episode. This is just a quick little bonus video while I work on other things in the back. So for those of you who missed my post on Facebook and Twitter, I've actually been selected as Performer Magazine's Artist of the Month which is insane. Side plug, if you aren't following me on social media, you definitely should. I post previews of upcoming videos and there's a lot of exciting stuff happening soon that I can't wait to tell you guys about. But I digress, that's not what this video is. Today, it's about strings. I'm pretty set in my ways when it comes to electric guitar strings, but when it comes to acoustic guitars, since I don't really play them that much anymore, I don't have a preference. It's shameful, but I kind of just use whatever's on the guitar. Now, Performer Magazine's Artist of the Month is something that they run in association with Elixir Strings, and so they were kind enough to send over a couple sets of their coded strings and asked me to film a video on my initial impressions. So I said, why not? These are supposed to last longer, but still feel the same as normal acoustic strings. So I'm pretty excited to try them out. So to help with this little task, Michael Kelly was generous enough to send out this funky looking thing. It's a Forte port. Let's string it up and see what happens. Okay, I'll admit it's not my best work, but the guitar is strung up. Here's what it sounds like in the room. I'm not entirely sure how to mic it up since the whole placement is unusual. There's one here and one up here, but here's my best guess. It also has a Fishman Sonotone discrete system, so it can be plugged in directly. It's pretty nuts for a guitar this inexpensive. It even comes with a battery. So my initial impressions. I'll be totally honest with you guys, I wasn't sure that I was gonna like these at all. The feel of the string is really important to me and I was afraid that these would not feel like normal acoustic strings. But nah, they look like acoustic strings. They feel, for the most part, like acoustic strings. I'm not sure if it's my mind playing tricks on me, but they do feel a little different, like a little smoother. But if I had picked this guitar up without knowing they were coded strings, I don't think I would have noticed it all. I'll have to go back and check the recorded sound, but at least in the room, everything sounds good and loud. If these last as long as they claim to do, these are perfect for me since I don't play acoustic guitar all that often, sometimes not for like four weeks. Now you guys have been asking for an acoustic guitar demo forever, so I think it's time to do one with this $300 Michael Kelly. I'm gonna be working with Reese, who you may remember added her vocals to the Gibson SG Standard video a while back and also did the vocals for my single Sarah Saskin, which is on Spotify. We've come up with something that I think you're really gonna like. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss it. I'm gonna be using these same strings, so I'll make sure to update you guys on how they hold up and for my full impressions on them after extended use. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little bonus video. As always, thanks so much for watching. You've been awesome, and I'll see you back later in the week with one of my regular review videos.